Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're coming across a system cannot find the environment option that was entered. So it says that the system cannot find the environment option that was entered and that comes up in a little pop-up box. So before you do anything in this tutorial, take note of the file path in the dialog window. So it should say the drive letter, which is oftentimes the C drive, and then it's a colon, backslash windows, backslash system32, backslash taskmanager.exe, or taskmgr.exe. Take note of that. I would actually consider writing that down, to be honest with you, on a piece of paper, or if you want to type it in a notepad file, you can, because that will come back in a little bit. But anyway, what we're going to do now is open up the star menu, type in msconfig, Best result, so come back with system configuration. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. And select the boot tab. Check mark where it says safe boot. And then minimal, that should be the default option there. So go ahead and select apply and OK. Select the restart option, but before you do that, obviously make sure you've saved and closed out of any open programs and applications. Then you want to select the restart button. Okay, so now that we are in safe mode here, we're going to go and select the start menu, type in control panel, go ahead and open that up, select the system button, scroll down, and select underneath related settings, advanced system settings. You can close out of those other windows at this time. And in the system properties window here, you want to go and select where it says environment variables. Select the new button underneath of system variables. So down here, don't select the one up here, select this one, second one on this page. And now the variable name, you want to type in exactly what you see on my screen here guys okay so it's very important you just want to make sure you do this correctly so type in w-i-n-d-i-r so again w-i-n 
dir and then for variable value type in whatever that drive letter was I told you guys to write down in the beginning so it should be the C drive could be a different drive letter for you guys like I said and then colon and then backslash windows again it's going to depend on what this drive letter was that you guys wrote down in the beginning so like I said I mean I can only say it so many times so make sure you have it exactly this, the right drive letter in there you can always open up this PC and then find out what drive windows is installed on that way but this just makes it a little easier here and anyway you're going to go select OK and now you're going to select OK again select OK and now we're going to go open back up the start menu type in MS config open that up system configuration select the boot tab and then you want to uncheck where it says safe boot and select apply and OK and now we're going to go restart our computer and then hopefully at this point now that you're back into your Windows computer if you try running any sort of file or whatever, or whatever task was creating this issue hopefully you won't be getting that pop-up anymore so pretty straightforward process guys I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye